Welcome back to another episode of Build and Banter. I want to show you real quick, I had to move our structure we were trying to build around this shelter. I had to move it over here because if you ever built before in day Z, if you're not on level ground, it doesn't work. There's always a little, lot of little quirks. And what I was running, to, running into over here is when this overhang, I was running into problems. Plus, it would not let me build around here because the water and other structures. So I have been in the process of just moving it down just a little bit close to our fire. I did leave this pole right here. That way I can practice my karate on it. Oh, oh see, I need practice. So uh, anyway, so we're going to keep on building and bantering away over here on this side of the fire. Now, I do want to get to um, the comments from the last episode where we talked about our top five disaster movies. And to today's uh, topic is going to be my top five real-time strategy games. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get too close to the fire, but I'll take a seat right here. All right, and we'll look at that beautiful scenery. There's my flag, there's our pond. You just can't get any better than this. Okay, I'm gonna look at the comments from last episode about the top five disaster movies. Okay, Bill in Washington, you said thanks for another fun video, and you su uh, suggested Volcano with Tommy Lee Jones. That is a good movie. I forgot about that one. Uh, Jonathan, you said in no particular order you would do 2012, The Day After Tomorrow, Battleship, Rampage, and Wall-E. Oh, those are good. Uh, Battleship, that was interesting. I forgot about Battleship. All right. Thank you for that. A Quiet Monk, you were talking about uh, you're not so solid on San Andreas. You replace it with Day After Tomorrow, like Jonathan likes that one. Um and uh wait i gotta get read more oh you talked about uh the tower inferno also had fred astaire in it which i forgot about that uh and then the poseidon you like that one but you said um even though it's the remake is not as good as the original you found it interesting because it was shot continually Ooh, that's interesting so all the scenes were made in order which is very rare you're right all right and let's see um at Ridgerton, you said that you would swap San Andreas with the perfect storm with Mark, uh, Mark Wahlberg or Marky Mark, which uh, he also had another one. Uh, he did two of them. Marky Mark did two or Mark Wahlberg did two disaster type movies. All right. Now we're going to get on to today's topic. Let me pull up my list. OK, so when I am talking about real time strategy games and I'm only doing the top five because there are several that you could do. But, it's, uh, but you could do top 30 if you want. I don't even know how many there are. I'm trying to think about my criteria, and really it's probably the ones that I can remember spending the most time playing. There are some that I did not play, never tried, uh, so they might be on your list. This is my list. Uh, we do not have to agree, but I do want to know if you agree or disagree with my list. So I'm just going to go off and start with five and then go to number one. So number five real-time strategy game was a company of heroes in 2006. Now I remember uh, playing this one quite a lot. And at that time uh, I was really big into the world war two games. I don't remember what year it came out, but um, there was a game, not, not a real-time strategy game, but there was a uh, first person shooter game uh, based off of the half-life, which was, you know, Counter-Strike was also based off Half-Life. It was a game called Day Defeat that I played a lot. And then, of course, Call of Duty came out. And then when, when Company Heroes came along, since I loved real-time strategy, I was like, a World War II real-time strategy. So that would be my number five because I do remember spending quite a lot of time with that. All right, my number four would be Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos 2002. So I don't think I played all the Warcraft real-time strategies uh, i can't remember i'm sure i played them but i don't remember how much i played them but this one i do remember playing and it would be number four on my list which i thought was pretty fun all right number three on my best or my top five real-time strategy game would be the lord of the rings battle for middle earth 2 2006 now i could have put this one as number one probably because i spent a lot of time playing this game I remember I did not read the Lord of the Rings books uh, as a kid, like many people did. So when the movies came out, 
uh, they were new to me. So I went to the movies to see it, never read the books. And I was like, whoa, this is the greatest thing ever. And then when they came out with this real-time strategy, the very first one was awesome. Then the second one, I liked even better. The third one, probably not so much. But I would say the Battle for Minora 2 uh, would probably be the most that I played out of those games. I just remember it being really awesome that you you didn't only control your armies and your you know you build up your your resources stuff, but you had the heroes. So if you ever played that game, you could get Gandalf or you could get Sauron or whoever you picked with your faction, and you would that hero had extra superpowers that they could just not like Gandalf could do his magic wand and just you know explode everybody. Uh, and it was also cool that you could call up your special forces. So that was 2006, and that was number three. My number two real-time strategy, this one came out 1999. Spent a lot of time playing this one. Could still play it even today. I do not have it on my computer, but it would play it. It's Age of Empires II, The Age of Kings. So I remember the uh, original Age of Empires, which was awesome. Age of Empires II, I felt was even better. Spent tons of time playing that, building up the resources. And that was just a a good time. Uh, So that would be my number two. Now, number one for me, which I believe is kind of like, I I don't know, some people would debate this, but it kind of really sparked off real-time strategy. Uh, This, this, franchise or this series i'll say the franchise really did it with real-time strategies even though i believe there was some before this one but my number one would be command and conquer red alert 2 come out in 2000 so the original command and conquer was awesome i think command and conquer red alert 2 would be the best one it would be my number one probably the one that i played the most uh, and i do believe that that I think it was Westwood Studios that produced the Command & Conquer games. They had several of them. I don't even know. Someone can tell me in the comments how many there were. I think there was at least five of six different, you know, expansions or games. Maybe more. I don't even remember. But I do know that they were awesome. And it kind of like, but to me, really made real-time strategy games take off. Uh, And it could have been just in this time frame. Because when I'm looking at these years... We're talking about 2000, 1999, 2006, 2002, 2006 for the uh, company Heroes. So apparently around this time, I had more free time and I was playing lots of real-time strategy games. So that might be the way it is for you too. It might depend on when you played the game or when you first was introduced introduced to the game. Uh, So please leave in the comments, what do you think about my top five? What are your top five? Okay, so I'm going to get up and I'm going to continue working on the base Leave your comments below. I have another episode of the story of Noah coming out soon. And be sure to check that out. And I've got a lot of work to do. And hopefully I'll get this wall built. I uh, did notice though, remember the level structures? Look, there's a gap right there. I don't think no one can climb through that gap. But there is some uh, small gap right there. I'm going to have to try to sure up and fix. But this will be the new structure of Build and Bander. All right. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and get notified.